तन्मनस्तव कथा सुविकुंठनाथ संप्रियते दुरीत दुष्टंग हृद तीव्रम कामातुरंग हर्ष शोक भय शुणार्थ तस्मिन कथम तप गति विमृषा दीन ट्रांसलेशन वैश्विक प्रभुपा माइंडर लॉर्ड दी वैकुंठ प्लान वेर देर इज नो एंगजाइटी my mind is extremely sinful and lusty being sometimes so called happy sometimes so called distressed my mind is full of lamentation and fear and it always seeks more and more money thus it has become most polluted and is never satisfied in topics concerning you I am therefore most fallen and poor. In such a status of life, how shall I be able to discuss your activities? Perfect by Sri Prabhupada. Here, Prahlad Maharaj represents himself as a common man, although he actually has nothing to do with this material world. Prahlad is always situated in the Vaikuntha planets of the spiritual world, but on behalf of the fallen souls, he asks how. When his mind is always disturbed with material things, he can discuss the transcendental position of the Lord. The mind becomes sinful because we are always engaged. in sinful activities anything not connected with krishna consciousness should be understood to be sinful in it krishna demands in bhagavad gita 18 chapter sarva brahman prijjya mami kam saranam praja antam sarpa pebhya mukhishyam maasu cha abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me I shall deliver you from all sinful reaction. Don't fear. As soon as one surrenders unto the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna, Krishna means that he leaves one of the reactions of sinful activities. Therefore, one who is not surrendered to the lotus feet of the Lord should be understood. to be sinful fool is degraded among men and bereft of all real knowledge because of a theistic propensity this is confirmed in bhagavad gita 7 chapter namang duskriti namudha prapadyante naradhama maya purutha gyanam asuram bhavam asita Therefore, especially in this age of Kali, the mind must be cleansed, and this is possible only by the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Chaitanya Darshan Mahar Janam. In this age, the process of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra is the only method by which to cleanse the sinful mind. when the mind is completely cleansed of all sinful reactions one can then understand his duty in the human form of life the krishna consciousness movement is meant to educate sinful men so that they may become pious simply by chanting hare krishna mahamantra hare naam hare naam hare naam hi va kevalam kalunaste vanaste vanaste bhagati rannatha to cleanse the heart so that one may become sober and wise in this age of kali there is no value to any method other than the chanting hare krishna mahamantra prahlad maharaj has confirmed this process in previous verses tad virjo gayano महामृत मग्न चित्त प्रहलाद फर्दर कन्फर्म्स दैट इफ वन माइंड इज ऑलवेज अब्जॉर्ब 
in thought of Krishna, that very qualification will purify one and keep one purified always. To understand the Lord and his activities, one must free his mind from all contribution of the material world. And this one can achieve by simply chanting the Lord's holy name. Thus, one becomes free from all material bondage. Amar Paramaradya Guru Dev, Sri Srimad Eshi Bhaktivedan Swami Prabhupada Maharaj, Nikavai Bhasya. Naitan Manastava Katha Subhikuntha Natha Sampriyate Durita Dushtam Asad Tibram Kama Turam Harsa Soka Bhaya Sanartam Tasmin Katham Tabagatim Vimrushami Dina This chapter Chapter 9 of 7th Canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, very important, because in this chapter, the Prahlad Maharaj, one of the eminent Mahajanas, gives his most conclusive statements. which are very, very authoritative. Mahajana ji ka si sattumani, Mahajana ji no sadasapantha. It has been said. One must follow the footsteps of Mahajana. Whatever Mahajana says must be accepted as authoritative. So, Prahlad Maharaj here, especially in this verse, speaks up a very important thing. He speaks on behalf of the fallen souls of this age of Kali. Those were very, very fallen, very, very sinful. Very, very degraded, dina, dispersed. So he says, he addresses here the Supreme Lord as Vaikuntha Natha. Vaikuntha is that place where there is no anxiety. Spiritual kingdom, Lord's kingdom, is Vaikuntha Dham. Very name Vaikuntha signifies this thing. It's no anxiety. But here, in this material world, everyone is always full of anxiety. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna say, this place, this metal wall, is Dukhalayam, Rasudam. It's Dukhalayam. This is a place full of miseries. No happiness here. And also, it's not eternal. Rāsudam is temporal. At any time, it may finish. We are in such a world, such a situation, where there is in every state, there is danger. Pade pade vipadam. So, all the people here in this material world 
miserable place and all is filled with anxiety. They never get any sort of happiness or pleasure here. Moreover, this is Kali Yuga. The most degraded age of all ages is filled with sinful activities. Kali means Paap, Sin, Adharma. Kali, another meaning is quarreling. So, the Lord Maharaj says that I am in such a position, in such a world, in such a situation. My mind is extremely sinful and lusty, he says. Sometimes happy, sometimes distressed, sometimes full of lamentation and fear. Very, very polluted mind. In such a mental condition, no one can be able to discuss the transcendent activities of the Lord. How can it be possible? Ask this question. And our beloved spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, giving a nice purport. And this verse says, one must follow the instruction of the Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord Krishna is our only well-wishing friend, Shrodham Shrodhana. We have said this thing in Bhagavad Gita. I am only Shrodham, well-wishing friend of all living entities. So follow his instruction. Whatever he said, that will bring you good fortune and all auspiciousness, all benefit. He demands giving his last instruction in Bhagavad Gita. Sarvadraman Pritijya Mami Kunsaranam Brada Antan Srapapi Bhimukhishyam Mahasurcha. He says this. Most important. Instruction. Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reactions. Don't fear. You see. The Supreme Lord Krishna gives us assurance. He gives one way he just says, just surrender unto the Lord of feet of Krishna and abandon all varieties of religion. Most important statement. And he knows everything. Sarvajnata. Omniscient. So he says, one may think, if I will give up all sorts of religion, something bad may happen to me, huh? because I am giving up all sorts of religion, no religion. Then assures, don't fear, Mahasutra. Don't fear. I assure you, I'll protect you. 
her delivery from all sinful reactions. Most important. Because the Supreme Lord is wonderful, powerful. He can do and undo things forever lies. So one should take this instruction seriously and surrender himself into the Lord as feet of Krishna. Unconditional surrender. Non-condition. Just surrender. Hmm. This is the best process to please oneself from all sorts of sinful reactions. Mm. And in this is Kali Yuga. In Shastra, the process has been given Harnam, 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 Eva, Kevalam, Kalunas, Eva, Nas, Eva, Nas, Eva, Gatiran, Nepha. In this age of Kali, there is only one process. Harnam, Eva, Kevalam, take shelter of this Harinam, Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. This has been said. Take shelter of this holy name, the Lord. Because the name, holy name of the Lord and Lord are non different. Non different. Avhinna Pam. Nama Nama, you know, Shastra says this thing. There is no difference between the name of the Supreme Lord and Supreme Lord Himself. And especially, in this age of Kali, the Supreme Lord Krishna has incarnated Himself as His holy name. Nama Rupe, Kali Kale Nama Rupe, Krishna Baba, Nama Hoite Hoi Sarbo, Jagatanista, Nam Vina Kalikare, Nahi Aro, Dharmo, Sarbo Mantra Saro Namo Yei Sastra Marma. It has been said. In this age of Kali, the Supreme Lord has incarnated himself as his holy name, Nama Avata, name incarnation. No other incarnation is there. In this age of Kali, you understand? And this Harir Naam, Krishna Naam, will deliver you from all sinful reactions. And it is so potential that the whole universe will be delivered. And this has been stated in all Vedic scriptures. Sarva Shastra Marma. Mm. So, that Supreme Lord Krishna came as Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 500 years ago. And he just spread this thing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. He says this thing. Hmm. Just saint, he was saint in, with his devotees, with his associates, and spreading this chanting of Harina. Hmm. Because in this age, the people are very, very fallen, do you know? Very, very sinful, very, very degraded. 
No other way is there. Except this chanting of holy name of the Lord. To cleanse their minds. Cleanse thee. So the Vaishnavas, the devotees, the followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come here and loudly chant the two congregation of Sankirtan, Nam Sankirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. And they thus fill the whole atmosphere with this transcendental sound vibration, thereby they purify the whole atmosphere. This transcendental sound vibration, the video, touch your ear, touch any loving entity, that will purify him. The so potential. So Vaishnavas, the followers of Srimad Mahaprabhu, they have only go on chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Just do it. And see the effect. How it is purifying, how it cleanses, how it purifies the whole atmosphere, and how it purifies the heart and mind of living entities. There are such living entities, those who cannot speak, those who cannot utter. You see, some lower animals and the trees, tower, hmm? they cannot, the birds, bees, they cannot speak. But if the sound vibration touches them, their ear, they will be part. You see, so powerful. And this is only process. Paranamiva. No other process. Thus take part in this Nam Sankirtan. You are fallen, you are sinful, you are distressed, but every time, every moment, you are lamenting, you are facing dangers, you are always in anxiety. So this is uh, an opportunity to you if you want to be free from all these things. Just come and take part. Standing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And be happy. My beloved spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, Went to the western world where people are very, very degraded, very, very sinful. Too much attachment to the material activities, sense gratification. They have developed a great sense of attachment to the material body, the heart of the species. They don't know anything. Then this body, so much attached. Their mind is very, very polluted. They cannot get peace, happiness, though they have so much material opulence. They are always unhappy. Why? This is a clear proof. This material wealth and enjoyment cannot bring you any happiness. 
यही संस्कार होगा दुख जो न यही बती आप जनतबंत कौन थे या ना पेशुरमते बुद्धा कृष्ण भगवान सेल्स डिस्टिंग इसी में लोग गीता दिस मेटेरियल एन्जॉयमेंट सेंस एन्जॉयमेंट will never bring you any happiness rather the dukha donaya it is the source of all sorts of misery he says this thing. so the buddha learned man intelligent man the never run after the sense of gratification A material pleasure. They know it very well. No taste from the good part. You understand? So my spiritual master, beloved spiritual master, Sir Prabhupad, is a Buddha, very learned person, Vishnu, Paramahansa. So he went there and saw the miserable condition. Of the people of that land, the stone wall, the special, the palm, many young men, young boys and girls, taking so very funny. Marijuana, huh? Heroin, very strong, huh? Intoxicants and becoming mad. Growing so much long hair, hippies, just rolling, yeah, becoming mad. They are just rolling in the ground. Everywhere they are rolling, beside the roadside, in the gardens, hmm, in the river bank, always they are rolling. They try to forget. Such miserable conditions by taking such strong intoxicants. And they are known as hippies. The Prabhupada went there. He just went with a pair of sarta and just chanted Hare Krishna, playing his sarta. Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. This transcendent sound, brother, just spread. So the hippies, they are attracted. It has so wonderful effect. This transcendent sound, brother. They come around and in a circle to pass. And he was standing chanting, just listening. So chant came. You see, they are attracted. Krishna is all attractive. His name is also attractive. His prasad is also attractive. So Pada has taken some prasad also. He has taken the prasad. Oh, it's nice. The shop. <laughs> so they are attracted, and he turned. The hippies become happy. <laughs> the hippies become happy. This is miraculous activity. You see. Hmm. So her name, her name, her name. Eva. Eva. Karuna asti, Eva asti, Eva asti. Eva. That is Anuta. Therefore, now this answer has been given. Just come, take part in this Hari Nam Sankirtan with the devotees, Sadhu Vishnavas, and get yourself your part. No lamin, don't fear. This is the only portion given. Thus, one becomes free from all material bondage. एक कृष्ण नाम कोरे सर्व पाप इफ यू कैन चैंट 
one name, Krishna, the twelve purifiers from all three, four actions, but to speak up, only standing, it is so potential. Religions, bhos, meditation, or any other attainment that is equal or superior to this holy name. Neither renunciation, control of the mind, any meritorious deed, nor the highest aspiration is equal to or higher than this holy name. It is the name alone that is the highest form of mukti. The name alone is the ultimate end in life. Resort to the name alone is the highest kind of peace. Resort to the name alone is the abiding welfare. Resort to the name the highest devotion. This recourse to the name alone is the ultimate end of knowledge. Attachment to the name alone, the highest love. Recollection of the name alone is the true remembrance. The name alone is the rest cause of all beings and the name alone is their soul master. The name alone is the highest object of worship. And the name alone is the highest amongst of all spiritual masters. The name is a So? The shelter of this holy name and get everything. Why are you in anxiety? Free yourself from the anxiety. Be happy. Hey. Adi Puran. Yes. Who spoke that? Who was reciting them? It is in Adi Puran, one of the Vedic streets as written by Vyasdev. Is it a conversation between two people? Is it just a broad statement? Broad statement. I just wonder whether maybe it's Lord Shiva talking about poverty or something like that. Whatever it may be, this is the conclusive statement. Just accept. Thank <laughs> you.